Today's video is about a 2010 uh, Renault Megane. Uh, the customer's complaint was uh, the car sometimes doesn't go over 20 miles an hour and uh, he's got the engine management light on, ABS light on and uh, there's a message on the dash saying anti-pollution system faulty. So what we done was uh, plug the machine in and then there was two fault codes. I can't show you the faults because I, I repaired this car so the, the codes are deleted. There was two codes on the car for P0220 and P0223. P0 so the both codes are to do with the uh, uh, pedal throttle position sensor B circuit. One of them says uh, pedal throttle position sensor B circuit high and the other one says uh, pedal throttle position sensor circuit. So they both to do with the pedal position sensor. Uh, just wanted to explain that the pedal position sensor B uh, on different cars they got different sensors and different. Basically, the location of the sensor is different. It could be anyway. It could be on the pedal. It could be on the throttle body. So on this car, they we don't have a sensor. We don't have an external sensor. So basically, pedal uh, sensor. Uh, pos position sensor B is, is built inside the throttle body so we don't have a sensor outside to replace it so if you want to change the uh, pedal position sensor you have to com you have to change the throttle body completely because the sensor is built inside but some cars the pedal is actually mounted on the throttle body or it could be on the inlet manifold next to the throttle body it's it's different places but it's, it's usually on the throttle body, but on this car it's inside, so we had to change the uh, throttle body completely. So, as you can see, um, this is a second hand unit, so the, we just, the customer just supplied me with a second hand unit and I just put a second hand unit in and replaced the old one. The, the problem is solved, there is no problem with the car, but once you put the once you change the throttle body or even when, once you just unplug it you plug it back in or anything you must do the uh, throttle uh, learning basically so what you do is you put your diagnostic machine on whatever you're using and then you go i'm using hotel on this occasion so you go to hot function and then you look for throttle once you see the throttle You just program it. So, but basically, what it does is uh, it, it says it's not supported because the, I think the ignition is switched off. Yes. Okay. Switch up. Switch on the ignition. You go back to throttle. Programming throttle limits. And you just press OK. And then to activate the command, click OK. Finished. That's it. That's all you do. And the reason you do this is because once you once you replace the throttle, the car revs over 1,000. So basically, it over revs. It's it's fine. The car goes and comes, no problem. It 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 does what it should do, but it's just all all the time the rev counter stays above 1,000. So it's your rev is always 1,200, 1,100, which it shouldn't be that. It should be around 750, 760. So once you do the programming programming throttle limits he programs it to the car and it comes down to 700 750 800 somewhere around that area so basically p0223 and p0220 thanks so much